Migrants break through security barrier at U.S. border. A crowd of migrants has torn down a concertina wire barrier and broken through a line of Texas National Guard troops while trying to cross into the U.S. from Mexico. The standoff occurred amid heightened debate over border security, with Republicans accusing President Joe Biden of dereliction of duty. Footage of the incident posted online shows migrants dragging down a section of the barrier and a group of five National Guardsmen forming a line and trying to stop them. Many of the men hold up their hands, signaling for the troops not to shoot them, but seconds later, migrants push through, knocking the heavily outnumbered soldiers out of the way and running to the border gate. The New York Post, which had a reporter on the scene, said the incident occurred at a border crossing in El Paso, Texas. About 600 migrants massed on the Mexico side before a section of the border barrier was torn down. After racing to the border gate, the men shouted at the troops on the other side. An unidentified source told the newspaper that the group was pushed back to the Mexico side of the border. The Texas National Guard was deployed as part of Governor Greg Abbott's $12 billion Operation Lone Star crackdown to stem flows of migrants illegally crossing into the state. Biden's administration has filed lawsuits against Texas challenging the state's authority to put up barriers and police migrant traffic. The federal government normally has jurisdiction over border security, but Abbott has invoked the state's constitutional right to self-defense, arguing that Biden's dereliction of duty has triggered a migrant invasion. Earlier this week, a federal court that is hearing one of Washington's legal challenges temporarily paused implementation of a new Texas law that would allow state authorities to arrest and deport illegal migrants last attack showed us that yes it's a violent invasion conservative commentator mike chenovich said in a post on x the true nature was hidden as the regime left the border open now there can be no denial germany won't allow putin dictated ukraine peace olaf scholz germany will not let russian president vladimir putin forcibly alter ukraine's borders or impose the terms of peace Chancellor Olaf Scholz has vowed, we will not accept a dictated peace at the expense of Ukraine. Scholz told German lawmakers in Berlin, law is stronger than violence. He added that Putin sought to violate that principle with the launch of Russia's military operation against Ukraine in February 2022. We will not let him get away with this, he said. Scholz insisted that Germany's backing of Ukraine in the conflict with Moscow will not decrease and that expecting otherwise would be a miscalculation. He reiterated his criticism of Putin's re-election last weekend for a fifth term as president, saying it showed that Russia is not strong. If the Russian president believes that he just has to wait out this war and that our support will weaken, then he is mistaken, Scholz underlined while addressing the Bundestag. He reiterated that the Weimar Triangle and the entire European Union stand together in their support for Kiev. In his remarks, Scholz criticized the debate in Germany around the potential delivery of Taurus cruise missiles to Ukraine, which the Chancellor opposes. The debate in Germany is nothing short of ridiculous, he declared. This is embarrassing for us as a country, he said, arguing that the debate was not understood outside of Germany. Scholz has argued that Taurus deliveries could spark further escalation with Russia and cause Germany to be drawn directly into the conflict. He said Ukraine would be able to use the missiles to strike deep into Russian territory and that Ukrainian forces would need guidance from German personnel to use them. He pointed to the fact that Germany is Ukraine's second largest supplier of military aid, saying that this must be recognized. However, as EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell acknowledged in an interview, European allies will be hard-pressed to fill the funding gap if Kiev's biggest backer, Washington, reduces its support. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration ran out of funding for Ukraine in January and has struggled to secure congressional approval for over $60 billion in additional military and financial aid. Еще и смотри. Еще и смотри. 